now students we will see how you can create a table in your database so you already learn for creating a table in the database is achieved with create table statement so with that help of create table you can easily create the table so here we will create that table with name of student and its fields are last name first name city and class clear so now see how you can create the table so you already learn first you have to create the database so here our database name is school and this database i already open now i will create the table so for this you have to use the create table student this is my table name and now i will open it means with parenthesis you will write the all fields so my first field is last name so here i will write here last name this is my field and its data type whatever data type so my data type is where here is variable character and assign its size so within parenthesis you will assign the size so i here i am assigning 20 it means 20 character i can store as a data into the last name field and this data base name this field name has been completed and data type is also created now separate this and now next field is what what is the next field so my next field is first name so i will write here first name this is my next field so i type here first name and its data type is also where here and assign the size so my size is 20 you can change the size clear any size you can write here now the next field is what the next field is my city with where care and size is 20 so i write city this is my next field with where care data type and its size is 25 okay and separate this with comma now the la last field is what the last field is i think class clear okay yes class with uh, care data type so right here what class so i write here the field name is class with data type care and assign it size so only two character i want to store in it class fields so that's why the size is two now my all field has right here so now i close this table with parenthesis because here is open parenthesis so that's why you have to use the close parenthesis okay now use the semicolon because my command has been completed so i want to execute that command for that purpose you have to use the semicolon and now press enter key so this message you got and message is query okay it means your code is correct and the table has been created okay so now if you want to see the structure of your table so for that purpose you already know the describe student this command you can use so this the command describe is used to view the structure of a table so now we use that command so for that you can write here d e s c either you can write the describe or you can use the short 
command dsc describe which table you want to describe so i want to describe the student table this is my table name and terminate with semicolon and now press enter key so this is the structure of your table last name this is your fields all these are the fields and this is the type it means data type so last name with data type we are here and it's size 20 next field is first name its data type is wear care with 25 size next field is city and its data type is wear care with 25 size and last field is class and its data type is care and with size 2 so this is the way to create the table in your database and if you want to see how many tables you have been created in your database so for that you have one more command like database show tables what show tables so show tables when i will write here show tables so it will execute the tables which are exist in your database so i am already into the school database here you can see use school so i am inside that school database and when you write this command show tables so it will execute the tables which are already exist into the school and you know already you created a, only one table this name is a student so that's why it is only executing one table here for example if you want to move another database now my this database job has been completed now i want to open another database so for that purpose you have to use again the use command for example i want to open the database store so what you will write the command so your command should be use store this database i want to open so this is the store you can see here and now i want to open that so for that purpose you have to use command so this database has been open and now if you want to see the tables how many tables yeah which tables are already exist into this database so once again you have to use show tables okay type this command and press enter key you can see here this is into this database there are two tables with name furniture and inventory these two tables are exist into this database because i created these table clear so that's why it is showing here and if you want to see the structure of the table furniture so just you can type here desc and write the furniture okay this is the table name and press enter key you can see this is the structure of that table with this field and data type any structure you can see now if you want to see the structure of inventory so just type here desc in when three okay so this is the fields of your inventory table and its data type are these so i think you all understood how you can perform practical operation into the my square so you try to execute these all command so today i teach you about the show database this is for executing all existing database which are available in your dbms clear and next how you can open your 
database so simple you can use the use store use command clear this is for open any database and how you can create any database so for that you can use the create database tool so this command is used for open any for creating any database okay and here you know how you can create table so with help of the create table statement create table command you can create any table and this command for executing the structure of your table so desc command is used here for executing any structure of database so all the students you note down these all command and also perform these all commands into your system or you can download in your also mobile any app you can download and into this you all try to perform these commands.